Hi Gazers, it's Diana Lynn. I wanted to try to take part in this How We All Connected series that Adam started up and came up with some um, actual pretty good connections and wanted to give it a shot. So I'm going to try and make this as short as possible, uh, but here we go. Uh, Felicia, we know each other from one of my oldest friends, uh, J. Paul Binabos. I knew Paul back in 1990. I think he was 11 or 12 at the time and I was about 10. Uh, it actually could have been 89. Anyways, um, I knew him in Lake Placid. We lived next door to each other on the same floor in the same hotel across from the rink in Lake Placid. You also know Kayla Turner. Kayla Turner, I worked with when she was really, really little, um, working out of the Louisville Skating Academy in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, she, my husband was in the military and she lived on Fort Knox and I was her off ice trainer at Fort Knox and then worked with her on ice uh, for some choreography. So and we know Kayla Turner, um, also Alicia Carr. I was on her 2007 adult uh, synchro team with Denver Synchronicity and uh, she was a, a real tough cookie of a coach but uh, she knew what she was doing and uh, that is a uh, Really cool to have that connection there. And then also Elizabeth Floriani. Uh, you know Elizabeth Floriani. She was my um, competitor in the 2005 Adult Nationals, uh, my first Adult Nationals. Uh, next is Muriel. Uh, <laughs> we have the direct connection of Quinn, your brother. Uh, he is in my final project uh, that is coming out later this week. Uh, he did a really, really good job uh, in it, and um, I know that when he first told me that he was your brother, I kind of freaked out a little bit, and I hoped that everything would go well, and he assured me everything would be fine. I I'm just glad that everything's good with the two of you, and um, I hope you enjoy his performance as much, as, as much fun as it was choreographing him in it. Uh, the next one is Robert. Robert, we have a connection through people as well. But uh, I remember seeing a photo of, uh, in the ISI magazine, I think it was during the ISI conference, you were photographed next to Sarah Neal and Becca Hatch Purnell. And I know them from Louisville Skating Academy uh, when I was there from 2004 to 2006. And uh, I saw that picture again, and sure enough, yep, you're right next to them. And I thought that was, Pretty darn funny. I know that Sarah is a huge fan of yours um, through this whole Yaz project. So uh, that is pretty darn cool to have that connection. Adam, we know Adam, uh, sorry, we know Amber Van Wyk. You know her from the high school musical cast. I know her from my 2007 Adult Nationals competitor. Uh, I remember being amazed by her movements and the choreography she put together and how completely awesome it was and how moving it was and uh, I knew that she was on the uh, high school musical show and you said you were on the high school musical show and so I just put the two and two together and there we go there's our connection. Uh, Heather, we have Natalie Shaby in common. Uh, I competed against her in 2006 and, and in 2007 uh, she was just dynamic coming out with her double axles and um, just absolutely amazing with her performance. And uh, I think I remember her talking about you during one of the competitions and uh, how funny it is years later that here we are. So we have that. Uh, Garrett, we don't have a direct connection of knowing people, uh, but I saw that you are an ice dancer. You like dance. I like dance. I think it works. And, and then also, I kind of made a connection between you and Emily Tuttle. Hi, Emily. Uh, Emily, you like to uh, do a lot of tweeting, uh, following skating, and Garrett also does the same. Uh, I found out from Googling, and um, it was pretty neat watching how the, the two of you were looking at the same type of things and commenting pretty similarly about some of the, the skating that the skaters were doing and what competitions and what they were wearing. So that's pretty cool that you guys have that connection. And then Emily, uh, you, you live in New York. 
I used to go to school at Rockland Community College in Suffern, New York, and um, my family lived uh, up by West Point in like the Bear Mountain area, and I lived in Englewood, New Jersey. I don't know if you know where that is, you probably do, um, but I used to live there, and my husband and his family are from um, Arlington, Virginia. Now, uh, nowhere, well, pretty close to Roanoke, Virginia, but I thought that was pretty cool. Same state, in that same area, pretty, pretty neat. There are other connections that I have actually with the grassroots division and just wanted to make a quick mention there. Uh, Pearson, uh, we obviously know each other from National Showcase. I have seen you since I've started. Uh, competing in National Showcase in 2007 when it was in Fort Collins. I was competing in the adult circuit and uh, I remember seeing you and just being uh, flabbergasted, wow. And then um, pretty much every year after that, uh, this last year, what an awesome job. Congratulations, what a great result. Um, I also know Amanda Hoffman through one of the coaches here, uh, Brenda Tarkenton. Uh, she says that she knows you from Oregon area and that, uh, that you or your family of that area has befriended her on Facebook uh, since she appeared in my Challenge 3 All Tied Up. So that is really cool right there. Uh, Samantha Stevens, you are from Hawaii, so you know Myung Kim and Jennifer Jones, and I know them from National Showcase and competed against Jennifer Jones in 2007, 2008, and 2009. There's that nice direct connection uh, with them, and if you get to talk to them every now and then, mention a little hello for me. Uh, Katie Tetzloff, you have a coach, Carol uh, Rosignol, and I know Carol from all of the PSA conferences that I go to and lots of the questions that I have contacted the PSA office with um, that she's been so kind to answer along my way of coaching. And um, there's a nice connection that we have there, a nice professional connection. And then Erin Comez, Comez um, I couldn't find any kind of a connection, but just do know that I really like your choreography and loved what you did for Universal Language. And then, lastly, Audrey. I used to compete in the Cherry Blossom Open competitions a lot. <laughs> I think in 1990, 91, and 92. And I always went to get my skates sharpened uh, with Michael Cunningham because I remember overhearing you um, in the lobby during one of the competitions just rave about his sharpenings. And ever since then, I would always go down to Alexandria I think it was Alexandria or Fairfax, uh, to Skaters Paradise and always get my skate sharpened because I heard it from your lips. And, of course, at the time with uh, Michael Weiss being the up-and-coming talent, of course I took that at So there we go. Uh, I'm glad that I was able to make connections with so many people. Um, I hope that was nice and short, as short as it could possibly be. And hopefully I didn't make too much of a fool of myself. Uh, I, good luck to everybody this week with Once Upon a Time. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's projects and good luck to whoever the top two finalists are in the Champions Division and in the Grassroots Division. Uh, thank you, Audrey. Thank you, Doug, for making this possible. And um, that's how we're connected uh, via Diana Lynn. All right. Bye.